driving to the location of the suitcase murders, um, the very famous TikTok murders that happened. But we don't live that far from there, so we figured we need to go check it out and see it for ourselves, and of course, bring you guys along for the ride. Let's go! <laughs> On the way to Seattle. <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is Harmon. Today's episode has got to be one of the most infamous cases that has come from TikTok. And if you guys have TikTok, or even if you don't, you might have heard in the news recently that some teenagers found two bodies in two different suitcases right where we are, outside of Seattle. This is called Alki Beach. And uh, the actual area where they found the two bodies in the suitcases, this is called Luna Park. The teenagers, of course, were playing uh, a game through an app called Rando Nautica. And if you guys aren't familiar with that app, it's kind of a newer app. And basically the premise of the app is it leads you to all these very bizarre, strange things. Like people have found money, drugs, a whole bunch of weird stuff from following this app called Rando Nautica. The app led them to the two suitcases, which had, of course, the two bodies in them. Insane, I just can't even believe it. Um, so anyway, today filming with me is my two sisters, Noelle, Alyssa, and then my sister's boyfriend, Noah. Got Alyssa, Noelle, and our boy, Noah. They found the two bodies of 35-year-old Jessica Lewis and 27-year-old Austin Wenner. They found both bodies in two different suitcases. Both Jessica and Austin have been dating for eight years, and Jessica had four children. Uh, so Michael Lee Dooley was 62 years old. He was actually the owner of the house that Jessica and Austin lived at. So Lewis and Wenner were renting a room in 62-year-old Michael Lee Dudley's home. They were having trouble paying the $1,500 rent for their one room that they rented in the house. On the night of June 9th, 2020, Dudley got into an argument with Jessica and Austin for not paying their rent and wanted to kick them out. I should also mention that this is in the middle of the COVID outbreak, so kicking people out for not having enough money to pay is really messed up. Neighbors heard a male voice yelling, presumably Austin's voice. They heard, please don't do this, just let me leave, being yelled. And shortly after, gunshots were heard. Later, police found the bullets and blood in the room, um, but Dudley tried painting and cleaning the room to get rid of all the evidence. No normal person would go to that extreme of, of wanting to kill two people because they couldn't pay their rent on time. Again, there might be some other mitigating factors that we just don't know yet. So Michael Dudley, he was charged with two counts of second degree murder. Again, he dismembered both Austin and Jessica. It's just so sad all the way around what happened to them. Right now, he's actually in jail awaiting trial. I just wanna make sure I say this, guys, because again, Michael Dudley, even though he was arrested for the two murders, and yes, it sounds like he was the one who did it, 
He hasn't been convicted of the crime yet, so I cannot say 100% he's the one who did it because, again, he hasn't been convicted of the crime. So we will use the word allegedly in this video, if you hear that a lot, that is why. And also it said that Jessica was actually killed with more bullets. She was shot way more times than Austin. Austin was only shot once. So it kind of makes me think, why? Why, why was Jessica shot way more times than Austin? And so, you know, let me know if you guys have any comments or thoughts on why you think that might be. But uh, it sounds like maybe she put on more of a struggle than Austin did. 10 days had passed from when they were allegedly killed by Michael and when they were found. Uh, of course, their parts of their bodies in the suitcases. And again, we don't know for sure if he dumped their bodies in the suitcases right here or if he was way across the other side of the lake and dumped them in and it traveled all the way over here. Oh, from what we theorize was that Michael Dudley could have planted those bodies on Randonautica, which would really suck if that was the case. Because Randonautica is pretty fun, but finding dead bodies is not. Only about 500 feet from where we were talking to earlier is the pier here and the rocks. And these rocks here is where they, they found the two suitcases with, of course, Jessica and Austin's body inside. It's honestly just so scary that this happened so close to home and that the suitcases were found in such a public place. And also Akai is just such a well-known beach to Seattle that it makes it all the more scary.